So, Charlotte, you're quite new to the company. Um, have you had a good explanation as to what a version dog component is? Yes, I have an explanation, but I think it's it's difficult. It, it, it's something like a part or an element of something. Yeah, well, that's what the word component means, um, generally. Um, part or a component of a machine, for example. But in the version dog world, it's a little bit different. Um, possibly for that reason, it's quite difficult to describe sometimes what a version dog component is. It's very hard not to philosophize mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. talk about containers in which you can keep your projects. And mm -hmm. Yes, they are that too, but it's still too abstract. It's not yeah. Yeah. really saying what the thing is yeah. in version dog. I think the easiest explanation is that it's a directory. Yeah, absolutely, that's right. And uh, I think for most people, the the question is then, what's the difference between a version dog component and a directory? And what are the similarities? So that's why I want to show these two views of the world. Okay, mm -hmm. there's version dog's view of the world here. We have the client archive, plant one, it's a virtual machine with our test environment. And here we have Windows Explorer's view of the world, the client archive, plant one. And if I expand plant one, you see hall one, area one, two, three, go back to version dog here, hall one, area one, two, three, they're all just directories mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. folders, I tend to use the word folder because it's shorter. Um, no components so far, but actually we're seeing the same thing here and here. So if I expand that there, area one, we see something that looks different here in version dog. That's a component. Um, if I expand on this side, here it is. It's just a folder. Mm -hmm. And there's an archive here as well. Um, and in the archive, we have a zipped version. So if we just ignore the archive for now and uh, concentrate on this folder here, which is the working directory of the component. Now one thing we tend to say is that a version dog component is a directory with version dog properties. Yes. Have you heard that one or read that in our documentation somewhere? Yeah, I've read mm. But then someone pointed out that, well, if I right click on that, <laughs> Where are the version dog properties? They're nowhere. Good point. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so, I mean, version dog sees the properties. Yeah. <laughs> Only yeah. version dog yeah. sees the properties. Yeah. So, um, what properties are we talking about, really? Um, I think the easiest property is ASCII for text documents or documents, the property documents for Word documents, for example. And TIA portal here for TI yeah. portal, the component type, Yeah. in other words, and the icon that goes with it. That's about it. Um, if we right click here and go to edit component configuration, you can see it's a TIA portal component type. Um, we could change it if we wanted to. It wouldn't be a good idea because it's a, a TIA portal component. And as such, it will contain a TIA portal project. And that's the point. And the TIA portal component has a TIA portal comparator. So it's tailored for the project that it contains. Remember the components are folder? The folder contains 
a project and the component is tailored to that project. Um, so let me ch choose another one because I'm using that one for something at the moment and I don't want to disturb it for now. Let's go to this installation checklist. Here it is in version dog. Uh, here it is in Windows Explorer. If we open this component or folder as far as Windows Explorer is concerned, we see the contents here, version dog, blah blah blah, document. And um, that's exactly the same here. Just mm -hmm. a bit off the page. Um, if we delete locally, then by going right click here, delete locally, what's going to happen? It's going to be deleted in the client archive, but if it has been checked in, it will be in the server archive as well. Right. So you can check it out again. Then the most recent version that was checked in will be back in your client archive. Yeah, absolutely. Although I think we really should emphasize at this point that the user has to explicitly create and check in versions. It's a two-stage process. It doesn't happen automatically. And that's because the user needs to have control over when a version is created. So if you've been working on a project in your working directory and you delete it without creating a version and checking it in, then it won't be anywhere to be checked out again. It won't be on the server. It'll be in the recycle bin of the computer that you're working on. Yes. Okay, now we won't delete locally just yet. We'll come back to that in a minute. Because right now I've got version dog set um, to not show items that are on the server but not in the client archive. Okay. I'll, I'll toggle it now so you can see what's on the server, what's in the server archive as well. So if I leave that like that now so we can see everything on the server archive, it's greyed out if it's only there, and I go to delete the installation checklist locally, it'll go to greyed out, delete local work, oh, yes, always, there, yeah, i just come off it, we can see that it's greyed out, mm -hmm. and it disappeared on this side completely, of course, and then if we toggle again so you can only see what's in the client's archive, it's gone, um, toggle again, check it out again, There it appears mm -hmm. once more, and here it's not greyed out anymore. Now, um, version dog sees this as a component mm -hmm. because it was created in version dog as a, as a component. Mm -hmm. You can't go and create something in Windows Explorer and expect version dog to recognize it as a component. Yeah. Should we create one and show what that happens then as well? Ah, I know, I know what we can do. Let's look at folders as well because they're a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Let's just create a, another subfolder in area two first. Um, new directory. I don't see it here yet. Mm -hmm. And it's got a plus sign here. So that's a little bit of a different view of the world from version dog and, uh, and Windows Explorer. Yeah. You need, you need to give it a name for okay. the new directory. Um, I'm just going to call it new directory. Actually. Yeah. It still hasn't appeared yet. Yeah. Because the new directory needs a component. Yeah. And after this you can see it here. Um, yeah, this is one way where the version dog view of the world is different. 
version dog needs something in that directory mm -hmm. before it, it's going to commit itself yeah. and save something to the filing system. Yeah. So let's put a, a component in there. Let's do something straightforward. Say any. Um, the default name will be Windows any. We can leave it at that. Um, create component and watch the this side here. There we go. There it is. The new directory has appeared and inside mm -hmm. Windows any. But there's no archive yet. Because there's no version yet, we haven't created any versions. But it's the structure. The structure's there, yeah. absolutely the same. And let's just focus again quickly on the working directory. Uh, this will contain a project when you're working on it, hence the name working directory. Now let's complete the process and create a base version and check in. Ah. When we create this base version we need to put data in the component. Yep, that's it. So let's open the file manager and put something in there. Yeah, that's realistic. Now, create base version and check in. Now we're now version dog's happy. Um, and the archive has appeared. But users don't need to go to the archive, do they? Uh, no. They don't know. The reason for this explanation was because they will find the archive one day mm -hmm. um, and they'll wonder what it is. But it is true, no, there's no need for a user to go there at all. It's just something that's used by a version dog. Uh, a version is created locally always, mm -hmm. it's stored there and then it's checked in. Mm -hmm. And in fact, all local versions, all versions that are present locally in the client's archive, will be in that archive. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, for the, the user's point of view, they can ignore it. So they don't even need to go to the Windows Explorer? Uh, usually not, no. It's good to know that you can if you want to get to the working directory mm -hmm. directly. Um, but mostly it's nice to know what's going on in the background, which is why um, I like to show Windows Explorer alongside the project tree. Um, uh, so mostly when you're working with version dog, you'll just be opening up uh, your projects directly from the project tree, from the version dog project tree. Can we show that? Yep, let's have a quick look. I'll just get rid of um, Windows Explorer and there we go. I'll just open this one up now. There's our any file and we can open it directly from version dog. No, there's nothing in it. Mm -hmm. It's just a demo, but uh, you get the idea. And that's the normal way of working with version dog. Um, do you think that you've got a more concrete idea of what, uh, or do you think users will have a more concrete idea of what uh, a version dog component is after this? Yeah, of course, absolutely. Uh, obviously there's more to know, um, yeah. but there's good, just an introduction. Yeah, I think um, what's the next thing, what is um, important is how is working the checking in, checking out process of the components. When do we need to check out? When do we need to check in? Uh, yeah, and what happens when you mm -hmm. do it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do another video on that. What do you mm -hmm. think? Great. Okay, we'll, we'll do, do that. that. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay.